Sol everyone, Montana Jack here. Today we are playing Slay the Princess. Are you used to saving her? Too bad, we're slaying her. Let's do it. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, hey, title screen. That's... This is the demo, by the way. Chapter one, the hero and the princess. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. I love a good narrator. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Seems a little harsh. Oh, I get choices. I can explore the end of the world. What are you talking about? Have you considered that maybe the only reason she's going to end the world is because she's locked up? Explore, killing the princess seems kind of bad though, doesn't it? This is so many options of things to do. What do you mean? <laughs> okay. Have you considered that maybe the only reason she's going to end the world is because she's locked up? While I appreciate the mental exercise, we are running up against a bit of a ticking clock. Nevertheless, let me assure you, the princess is locked up because she's dangerous. She is not dangerous because she's locked up. All right. And before you decide to waste even more of our time by asking how I know that, let me suggest a more pragmatic lens through which to view this situation. Right, do it. Causality doesn't matter here, because the end result is the same no matter what led us up to this point. If the princess leaves the cabin, the world will end, and there is no changing that. Well, that's a little sad to me, actually. It's no use arguing semantics over a metaphorical chicken or egg, because the egg is hatched and it's about to ruin everything. Alright, whatever, fine, Unless, Mr. Dramatic. Course, you do your job and slay her. Who said I was a slayer? <laughs> Slay. <laughs> All right, we'll walk towards the cabin. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. A warning before you go any further. What is that? She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. I'm not easily influenced by people's words. I take people for what they do and what I see. Quoting Russ Baby. Ow! Oh, Ryman. <laughs> We're not going to go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. That was my voice. Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Oh. Oh, okay. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. Narrator, I love your voice. That is fantastic. If I had an accent, my channel would be woo! <laughs> I guess I do. It's probably like Texan. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. I'm ready and willing. Explore. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. The pretty music cut, but I swear I only grabbed that because, like, just in case she's, she's bad, you know? I, I'm just keeping options open. I don't have to use the blade. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her voice carries up the stairs. Who's there? <laughs> Montana Jack. It's commanding. Almost as though she's the one in charge down here. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Interesting. <laughs> Hi! Just checking in on you. I think I'm here to kill you? Continue down the stairs. Ah, I'm just checking in. Oh? It's been so long since anyone's come down here. 
I was starting to think they'd forgotten about me. They may have. They didn't. That's why I'm here. An idiot. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's kind of cute. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Focus on the task at hand. Are you here to kill me or something? I don't know why you'd guess that. What? No way. Why would you even think that? I don't care what the other other <laughs> options are. That's what I'm saying. Huh. Maybe because of the giant knife you're holding? Fuck. Yeah, no, I forgot that part. Good call. The blade. Of course she doesn't want to talk. Who'd want to have a conversation at knife point? We should drop it. Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster. Killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. Yeah, true. True, true. Oh, I have to make that choice now. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, we're gonna drop it. The blade tumbles out of your trembling hands and drops to the floor with an unceremonious clang. Thank you. Maybe now we can just talk. Against your better judgment, you step forward to speak with the princess face to face, unarmed. Yeah. We'll be fine. I don't know what you're hoping to accomplish here, but I can assure you there's no reasoning with her. <sighs> Just make sure you don't forget about the blade on the floor. You're going to need it. So, this is a pretty awkward start to a relationship. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty awkward. <laughs> a relationship? Are you coming on to me? How would I get you out of here? I'm here because you're going to end the world. There's people out there that think you're a threat. What's your name? How long have you been down here? Oh my god. Alright. A relation? I'm gonna be a little flirty. I mean... It's a princess. Don't jump to any weird conclusions. We're two people who have met each other. By definition, we have a relationship. I don't like you. Alright, you're dead. You're dead. You decided that for yourself, jerk. Uh, I'm here because you're in, in the world. Just tell her that. Oh. Is, is that why they threw me down here? But I don't want to hurt anyone. I like the world, I think. I don't remember much about it, to be honest. I've been down here for so long. Oh. Just how long has she been down here? Did they even bother to tell you how I'm supposed to end the world? Because that just doesn't sound like the sort of thing I'd be capable of. Yeah, that's true. What are you going to do if I let you out of here? Hmm. Let's remain silent. They haven't told you anything, have they? That was the wrong choice. Look, at the end of the day, whatever the two of us have going on down here is about trust. Whoever sent you to slay me claimed I was a threat to the world. But they didn't tell you why. That doesn't sound right to me. And I don't think it sounds right to you, either. Otherwise, we'd be killing each other instead of talking. I mean, she's, she's good at communicating. She has a point. There's a reason I've been telling you to question the situation, and there's a reason you've listened. So, I could tell you that I'd lead a quiet life in the woods, or that I'd open an orphanage, or any other number of good things that I'm sure you want to hear. Maybe. But you don't really know me. Do you? What can my word possibly be worth in a situation like this? You are very manipulative, okay? I studied communication and you're smart. She's right about one thing. Her word isn't worth anything. Well, narrator, I just met you too. Like I said, it's all about trust. Blind trust. Yeah, that's crazy talk. So, do you trust me? The prisoner, the victim. The princess clearly incapable of ending the world. Or do you trust whoever put me here? She's wrong. This isn't about trust. This is about risk. We stand to lose everything. All for the sake of one person. And a subjugating monarch, no less. Ooh. 
How would I get you out of here? What's your name? How long have you been down here? What's your name? She hesitates before answering. Oh! Oh, we're digging a little deeper. You can address me as your royal highness. Fuck or you. Or her majesty. Any honorific should do, really. Again, she offers no specifics. Uh. No matter how hard you try, you'll never get a straight answer out of That's her. That's a good point, narrator. How would I get you out of here? You can't. Don't bother. I'm guessing you don't have the key, then. I'm sure there's a key somewhere around here. And if there isn't... Well, we can always put that knife to good use. How so? Her sharp eyes settle on the edge of the blade. She isn't suggesting what I think she's suggesting. Right? Oh, not. That's a little gross. She is. I'm sure of it. Too long. You've been here? How long you been here? Too long. Okay. That's... Yeah, you don't talk for shit. Oh. Have you decided what to do with me? Oh, no. Am I supposed to have? You know why you're here. I can just slay the princess outright. Keep her locked away. I'm going to keep you locked away down here, at least for a bit. We can get to know each other better while I decide what to do. That sounds logical. That seems like a pretty good compromise. Leaving her alive is too risky. If you don't deal with her soon, she will find a way out. Yeah, with the next idiot like me. One way or another, I'm going to find a way out of here. You can make it easier for both of us if you help. Ah, oh, man, do I like toxic women? Is that is that a thing for me? I'm starting to worry about my uh, the way I'm deciding in this. Huh. And if you don't... Yep, she's talking shit, and I'm still, like, almost about to free her. I can promise that you'll come to regret that decision. She threatened me! I should not release her! I should not! You have to make a choice. Let's hope for all our sakes it's the right one. <sighs> yeah, okay. Uh, I made my choice. I'm locking her in the basement. That's such a route, bruh. This is such a little bitch-made response. I either slay her now, or I help her out. What do we do? What do we do? Head slay the princess, tells help her escape. Ready, go. Tells, I have to help her escape. Clarify. So we got tells on that. Uh, I I mean, I'm a man of my word. You know what? We're helping her escape. I flipped a coin, narrator. Understand, please. You would do the same. Oh, for the love of... <laughs> Good. I'm glad you've come to your senses. I don't have senses. I have luck, and you have luck, because the coin flipped for me. You're making a huge mistake. Oh, but those are innocent eyes, for now. No. You're doing the right thing. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a ton. Yeah. They're large and heavy, far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. That is a large chain. If you don't have the key, maybe you should go looking for it. I'm sure it's somewhere upstairs. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabin. If there isn't a key, do you have any ideas besides me cutting you out of here? I'm going to check upstairs. Maybe the key's still lying around somewhere up there, and if not, maybe I can at least find something to break you free. Ah, let's see this first that one. That would be fine. I can lose an arm. Why are you okay with that? Uh, it seems not like a primary choice. She speaks with almost complete nonchalance. Yeah, I noticed. I noticed. If we were stuck down here for long enough, I'm sure we'd be nonchalant about cutting our way out. Anything to finally be free. Stop, stop relating to her, hero voice. You attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. You hear the click of a lock sliding into place. Wow. Someone else here. You try the door, but it's locked from the outside. You're here to slay the princess, and you won't leave until the task is done. It was you, narrator. Your shouts and pleas are met with silence. I'll repeat myself once again. You're here to slay the princess, and you won't leave until the task is done. You make your way back to the bottom of the stairs. 
this would have been so much easier if you'd simply slain her like you were supposed to. Yeah, maybe so. Easier for whom? Easier for everyone. You don't know that. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? They sure did. We must uh, make a partnership, a real relationship now. We can be friends. The knife. Pick it up and cut me out of here. You won't like what happens if you do that. Free princess, slay the princess. I already agreed to free her the first time, and that's what the coin said, so you can't hold it against me. Free the princess. Against your better judgment, ah! you place the blade against the princess's arm. Oh, that looks above the horrendous. Unyielding chain. Yep, gross. You cut into her flesh. I didn't need the sound effect. The blade is sharp, and you make quick work of it. Before long, you're able to crack through bone, and she pulls the bleeding stub of her arm through the iron gauntlet. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. She didn't so much as utter a sound. The princess clutches the wound, her fierce gaze meeting your eye. We are friends, right? How is she so composed after losing an arm? It's like she isn't even bothered by it. That's crazy. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. Yeah, that sounds good to me. No. We won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. You can't just let her escape into the world. No. I just can't let her escape into the world. You have no choice here, narrator. I'm I'm the protagonist. As the princess approaches the bottom stair, your body steps forward and raises the blade. Hey! Hey! Wait, this isn't fair. You can't just do that. Watch me. Ooh. Oh, I'm glad I scrolled down. Y'all see this tricky shit? See this tricky shit up here? Slice, 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 slice. Warn her. Boom. Stop that. Oh, I thought this was a little too easy. Yeah, don't kill me though, because the narrator. Your body lunges forward to sink the blade into her back, but the princess dodges? Stop it. Stop resisting me. I am trying to get you out of here alive. Uh... Resist the blade. Move the blade. But look at her eyes. Come on. You're doing your best to help me, aren't you? Yeah. I can see the conflict in your eyes. This conflict? I'll make this quick. No! No! I regret my choice already. I didn't think you'd kill me. She knocks your legs out from under you with a swift kick. You didn't even see it coming. You fall to the ground, the wind leaving your lungs all at once in a violent puff, and her knee settles on your throat. You try to gasp for air, but she pushes on your windpipe with weight you didn't think her slight frame could possibly possess. You won't draw another breath. When she manages to escape from this place and brings ruin to the world, know that it was all your fault. It can't just end like this, right? As much as I'd prefer for things to have gone differently, I can't deny the reality of what's happening. I'm sorry, but it's over. Everything goes dark, and you die. Oh! Chapter 2, The Damsel! You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin, is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Your tone seems a little different this time. But I died, what am I doing? I assure you that you're not dead. And to answer your second question, you're here to slay the princess. I literally told you that a second ago. Huh. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Good point, good point, hero. Don't forget what he did to us the last time around. Oh, I have we another... Yeah. Just have to find a way. Now I have another personality. I am becoming a tainted human. Oh, oh that's a mess another up. one of us in here. Helper? Need I remind you how catastrophically dangerous she is? I told you about the stakes of this situation less than a minute ago. You did. Sure, and all of us in here definitely believe you. This is clever. This is really clever the way they're doing this. Just stay focused on the task at hand. Yep, okay, definitely going to slay that princess. We're going to lie. You know I can tell when you're lying, right? 
please take this seriously. I am begging you. I didn't think you could tell. I have one last one for you. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. Yes, yes, don't believe a word she says. Just go in, take the knife, and do what you're supposed to. Wink. Nice. Did you just say the word wink out loud? Maybe. No, I didn't. Wink. Wink. Just ignore this clown and focus on the princess. I love that they're adding a third voice in. That's really cool. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. I'm going to just enter the basement this time. You're playing a dangerous game by coming here unarmed. Oh, yeah? You think so? It's even more hypnotizing than before. Oh. Is it more hypnotizing than before, or is that just what we want it to be? Oh, that's... Mm, man, this doubting voice is interesting. For everyone's sake, you're not in love. <sighs> just don't let her charm you. It's all part of the manipulation. Noted. You walk down the stairs and she lock eyes different. with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. Why do you look different, though? She's still so beautiful. And she has both of her arms again. Did everything we just went through actually happen? It must have, because she's different. Can't you tell? She totally is. That's what I was just saying. You. I remember you. You're going You're to help me get out of here. Right? You're a little more anime waifu now. You changed up on me and I like you. No! That was a good time to end the demo, but no! Okay, okay, okay. Well, that was a fantastic demo. I enjoyed that thoroughly. That's so cool that I think based on each choice you make, they're going to add more and more voices to like impact the way that you handle things. This is awesome. When it comes out fully, I'm playing it, so keep on the lookout for Slay the Princess. I love you all so, so much. Please like, subscribe, comment, do all those wonderful things for me. Take care. <laughs>